Melavalavu is a village located about 30 kilometers from Madurai city in Tamil Nadu. But 25 years ago, it was the scene of casteist violence of the most barbaric nature unleashed against the people belonging to the scheduled caste community in Tamil Nadu. The massacre unfolded at Melavalavu in Melur near Madurai on 25th June 1997. K. Murugesan, a 35-year-old Dalit Panchayat President, K. Mukan, a 39-year-old Dalit Panchayat Vice President, and four of their aides were travelling by bus. During the ride, they were brutally murdered by an armed gang of caste Hindus. Murugesan and Mukan both belonged to the scheduled caste community. They were elected to the public office despite threats from the dominant caste Hindus. The local body election that was scheduled to be held on 9th October 1996 was first put off due to withdrawal of nominations by all three candidates, including Murugesan, due to threats. The second attempt in conducting the poll on 28th December 1996 was foiled due to booth capture. It was during the third attempt on 31st December 1996 that Murugesan and Mukun were elected as President and Vice President of the Panchayat. The caste Hindus had boycotted it. Out of the total electorate of 4,433, only 716 votes were polled. Even after winning the election, Murugesan continued to face death threats and was prevented from entering his office. Following his representation to the then Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi, Murugesan was provided with armed security at his office, after which he started work. Six months later, when Murugesan, Mukan and their aides were travelling from Madurai to Melavalavu, the bus journey turned tragic. Murugesan's wife Manimekalai recalls that fateful day. <laughs> The next day, houses and shops belonging to Dalits were set on fire in the village and there was stone pelting as well. The six men were buried on 1st July. On 6th August 1997, 17 persons were arrested by the Madurai Rural Police. The starting point of this particular conflict can be traced to the passing of the Tamil Nadu Panchayats Act 1994 after the 73rd Amendment to the Constitution was introduced in 1992. This led to the post of Melavalavu Panchayat President being reserved for scheduled castes. The law gave the scheduled castes an unprecedented access to constitutional power and authority at a place where it had been historically unavailable to them. And the until then, India was not a Janadi Vidyaka, Udukapata Samukhichar, and the Kaya Narayan and Oregil, Yemeka Putranda, and the Kuripataka. India was not a Rumbo Weary of Padavi, or Kuri to a Dalamaka, Udukapatori Langal, Janadi Vidyaki, no, Indru. India Samuham or Burum Solikundra, the Ade Valayil, and an Ulur Kalaya Nartatil, in another the Hundra than Ral, or Udukapatonu, a Talami, Etukolamudia, the Engendra Wund. The Arasil Adayala Turku, Yadarta to Kuman or Edevilia Kawe, in the Yerend Samboti Upitaka or Mana Pakundi. Other Kapinal and the Kuali and the Palavaki Rumbo Mukimana. Alaudi Aduru Takati Seliti the Matamalaman, Raya, Matangali, Undubuni. குறிப்பாக தொண்ணூறுகள் உருவான தலித் இயக்கங்கள் ரொம்ப உத்வேகம் பெற்றதற்கு அந்த கொலை ரொம்ப முக்கியமான காரணமாக இருந்தது on 26 july 2001 17 persons were found guilty and awarded life imprisonment however 
A year later, the 17 men were let off on conditional bail by the Madras High Court. On 16th February 2005, the Supreme Court cancelled the bail. In September 2008, of the 17 convicts, all of whom were caste Hindus, three were given remission. This was a part of the Anna Birth Centenary celebrations when the DMK government was in power. All the 13 surviving convicts were released from the Madurai Central Prison in a hush-hush manner on 9th November 2019 by the AIADMK government. This was a part of MGR birth centenary celebrations on the ground of good conduct. Activists and the villagers who strongly condemned the premature release termed it a move by the state government to appease the dominant Tevar community vote bank. Soon after the mass killings, the men and women of the Dalit colony in the village had no work. The caste Hindus, the Tevars and Kallars had stopped employing them. They were surviving on a few bags of rice provided by the local administration as well as the Harijan Seva Sangh. Even children felt insecure and stopped going to school. 25 years on, Dalit Panchayat presidents continued to face violence threats and intimidation from the dominant castes. The Melavalavu massacre, however, spurred significant development in Dalit politics. Tul Tirumavalavan, founder and president of the Virdalai Sirithai Galkachi, formerly known as the Dalit Panthers of India, says the incident was responsible for the VCK entering electoral politics. Tirumavalavan recalled that in spite of the death threats, Murugesan told him, even if they take my head, I will contest. 